Hey y'all, long time no see. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be styling this wig that I installed in the video that will be posted after this one. So if you wanna see the install, you'll have to go to that video. So I'm gonna be styling this wig. We're just gonna be doing some wand curls on this deep wave wig from Lavish Bundle Connects, a black owned brand. While I give y'all a life update and where I've been, what I've been doing, where I'm at mentally, upcoming content, all of that. Cause y'all know I've been gone for like six months, <laughs> which is really gonna like me and I feel so bad about it. But anyway, we're gonna get into it. So yeah, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I'm not gonna be rambling or none of that. We're just gonna jump right into it. So first thing I'm gonna do is brush this wig out cause I haven't brushed it. I was thinking about blow drying it to want curl it, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. I had watched a couple videos and a lot of people didn't blow dry theirs. They just um, curled it. I posted a poll on Instagram to vote on the hairstyle I should do with this wig. And then by the time I started this video, the wand curls was winning. Like I had set up everything, but now the other hairstyle is winning, but I didn't already set up and all that for the hairstyle that was winning when I got ready to start filming. But now the other hairstyle is winning. I'll still probably try the other hairstyle, just not in this video. I'll probably just do it for like some pictures or something and then That'll be that. Anywho, this is a lot of hair. We're gonna be here all day. I'm going to clip the rest of the hair up. I think I'll start on the left side. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of bio silk through the hair before I wand curl it. I use this on my natural hair too. Like when I blow dry my natural hair, put heat on it, I use this. My hair be so soft and everything. I feel like this is a lot that I just Mm -hmm. This install is like a week old, so if it's looking a little janky, that's why. I still feel like it looks pretty decent though for a week old, and I didn't even use like lace glue. I use Kiss Colors and Care, the Lace Bond adhesive spray. Yeah, I still feel like the install looks pretty decent. It's gonna slid back a little bit over here, but like I said, this is just lace spray, and it's been a week. I've been out in heat and everything. I haven't had any lifting. I haven't had to like reapply any. I just keep it tied down at night, or even during the day if I'm not going anywhere or doing anything. I just keep the lace tied down with just like a satin edge scarf and that's it just brushing product through all right let's start talking so y'all last saw me it was what november i think was when i posted my last video so after that the holidays of course came up and the holidays always get hectic around here every year because we host here so this year we just did thanksgiving dinner and then Christmas, we did Christmas dinner, but we also had a Christmas party, Christmas Eve, which this was our first time doing that this year. So it was even more hectic than usual because we had two events for Christmas, but you know, we don't be having much help, but um, yeah, so it just gets hectic and like it just be me and my mom mostly. And like, I really don't be having time for nothing at that point. Like we trying to, you know, get everything prepared and get the house ready and prepare food and all of that, or like decorate for the parties and all of that. Or like, we usually have like the parties at my auntie's house, like we go over there. Well, I go over there and decorate. My mom doesn't normally come for that cause she'd be here working on other stuff. But yeah, you know, we just be doing all that. So it just gets hectic. And then, so after the holidays was over, like we finally got through that. Um, all the events were over. It wasn't, you know, so many people coming in and coming over, all of that. Or like, you know, we had people coming home out of town. Also around this time, this was in November, I believe. I've been November. In the November or the beginning of December, I started babysitting for one week out of every month for my cousin. She just had a baby. Y'all have seen her in a couple videos before, but she had a baby in August. I offered to help babysit when she went back to work, which was around that time. So I was in Savannah, which is two hours from where I live. So I travel to Savannah for one week every month. I'm still doing that. And I go down there and babysit. He's, how old is he now? What is going on? Um, he's eight months now or nine months, I can't remember. So that also started around November, December. But anyway, I started doing that. His name is Lennox, he's the cutest little thing. I've just been enjoying that and watching him like kind of grow and learn little things as he's getting older. And he's just the cutest little thing. And like, I just, I just love him to death. I'll answer some pictures of him if she's okay with that, I'm gonna ask her. Yeah, that's also been a part of my life lately is babysitting, y'all know. Babies ain't no joke. <laughs> He's so cute. He's the cutest little brown thing. His little afro, his little curly hair. Yeah, so that's been like a part of my life. Yeah, so that's still going on. So I'm gonna uh, spray. I'm gonna spray some of this Sebastian Shaper Plus spray. So anywho, after the holidays and you know how I got started in my babysitting routine and got that together. So like I said, I do that six days out of every month when she's on day shift and she doesn't have anybody at the house to stay with him because her husband also works day shift, but 
she also has off days and like she works night shifts sometimes so then i don't have to be there during that time but she has days where she's on day shift that's when i have to be there so anywho so that's linux i just love my little lenny pie but i haven't felt that way about like a kid like that type of attachment to a child since she had her first child which is obviously his big brother but he's 11 years old now so that was 11 years ago the last time i did this so i was 13 at the time but of course i was 13 i didn't have the type of understanding like appreciation for babies and like children like obviously i was like super attached to him still am but now it's like a different type of attachment like, like now it's like like i look at it differently now because i'm older i don't know they're just so they're just so precious yeah it makes me sad because he's getting he's growing up really fast and he's already about to be one i even went i went to the hospital the day she had him i didn't even have a car at the time y'all know i had wrecked my car last year i hit it well actually it was like what a year and a half ago i hit a deer totaled my car but i got it back well not like that car back but i got the same car that i had but that didn't happen until november that i got my car back um so my mom drove me all the way to savannah the day she had the baby because i just was not finna miss this so yeah, been there since he came out the womb, fresh out. So once the holidays were over with and I had gotten my routine with like babysitting, oh, we got the month, every month, I think starting in November, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start like getting back into the content, which I was more so expecting to be YouTube, but I was like, you know what? I kinda wanna focus on my other platforms. I know people be saying like, oh, just pick one platform and try and grow it. Like don't be trying to grow all of your platforms at once. I feel like I've grown my YouTube channel. Like obviously I'm not where I wanna be with my YouTube channel, but I've grown this platform the most. So I was like, oh, I kinda wanna focus on my my TikTok and my Instagram content. So I started doing that literally top of the year, January 1st. I actually started New Year's Eve shooting batch content. Like I would pick out outfits, like four outfits, and I would go to different locations and like shoot them. I actually was recording that and I put it on TikTok, but then they muted my sound. I had to delete the whole video. It was really irritating. TikTok is getting on my nerves these days, but yeah, I was like, I'm gonna focus on my other platforms, but I do still have all the footage. So I think I'm gonna like end up editing it, but I'm just gonna put it on a platform that's not gonna delete my sounds. I don't like how like on TikTok, it deletes all the sound. Like even if you have have music playing in the background of a video but you're like doing a voiceover it takes all the sound out including your voiceover why don't you just take the music out so like i had to delete the whole video anyway that was really annoying so i'm probably just gonna i still have all that content like every time that i've done batch content i filmed it so i think i'm just going to edit it still but put it on another platform like youtube shorts or just instagram reels because tiktok is doing too much so yeah so anyway i was doing that i was shooting content every other week because i was posting twice a week on instagram so i would have content for like two weeks at a time when i would shoot content so i was doing that and y'all can go check out that content um all the outfits i've been shooting if you don't know as far as like all things like that i do on my youtube like makeup wigs hair clothing haul fashion is like my all-time favorite thing always has been so if you want to go check that out y'all go over to those platforms follow me on instagram and tiktok and y'all watch the stuff that i've been filming and posting over there but anyway that's what i've been doing and i was doing so good i think i was going i was going strong for like four months i made it all the way to april and i was consistently posting every single week twice a week and then i got to a point where i feel like i was being annoying or like posting too much i don't know so i started doing once a week like one outfit a week instead of doing two outfits to post every week so now when i do batch content i still shoot four outfits but now i have content for a whole month because i'm only posting once a week now so i'm gonna have to do that shoot batch content for one day out of the month and then I'm good for content on Instagram and TikTok. It's a lot of editing for the TikTok videos and the Instagram reels that I do with each outfit. It's a lot of editing and it's like, you know, if you've seen them, then you know what I mean, but it's a lot of editing that goes into those. So I was doing that for a while and then Easter came up and I fell off of that after Easter, but I'm actually gonna get back into it today. So Easter was the last day of March. It's now May 8th. So it's been like a month and some change since I've been on Instagram and TikTok. I posted like other stuff on TikTok before. And the reason for that was because I didn't feel cute. Like after Easter, okay, so let's backtrack. Easter came and I was like, I want my hair done for Easter. And I booked a silk press and I wanted to cut my hair. Like I wanted like a whole lot of layers and I wanted some curtain bangs. Yeah, I got that done. And it was like, it was like cute in the moment. I guess like when it was styled, like when I was in the chair and like, you know, fresh out of the salon like it was kind of cute like it was all curled and stuff but then like most of the curls had fell out by the time i got home and i didn't like how it looked when the curls fell out i don't know how to maintain that style without putting heat on my hair every day and she told me that i could put um flexi rods in it but then i don't i don't know if i was doing it wrong but i don't think that was turning out that great like i didn't look like how she had it when i left and so 
I just didn't feel cute like after that the way I like I wasn't even finna bother like keep trying to flexi ride it every night like because before I wasn't having to do all of that with my natural hair at night like I would just put it in my sleepy tie and be done that took me like two minutes not even two minutes it took me like a minute to put my sleepy tie in like I just not finna do all that and so yeah I just did not like the way my hair looked after that point like I'm not finna be styling it every day I'm not finna, I'm not finna have to put like heat on it to make it look decent. And so yeah, a lot of my hair got cut off and I wasn't expecting that much to be cut off. I didn't go in with the intentions of that much of my hair being cut off, but a lot of my hair is cut off. Y'all know I have pretty long hair. My hair is like up to here now. So, you know, so yeah, like after like not knowing how to maintain the style or like keep it cute with it short like that, like I just did not feel cute and I just stopped shooting content. Like I just did not shoot content for a month so yeah and i'm gonna be doing a hair growth journey um because y'all know like i said i had pretty long hair so i'm gonna do a hair growth journey to see how long it takes me to grow my hair back out i just ordered me a t-shirt that like can track the progress with the little lines on the back so i'll be updating it every month it's been one month since i've gotten my hair cut but I forgot to take the picture after one month. You know, I don't have the shirt yet, but I was gonna at least take a picture, which hasn't much changed. So I guess I'll just leave the picture that I already have. My most recent picture of my hair short, but yeah. So that's the reason why I stopped. Like I was on a roll, but like after that, I just didn't know how to keep it maintained or like keep it to where it looked cute to me with it being that short. And I just like, I did not feel cute at all, like for a whole month. And so that's why the video that will be posted after this is a maintenance vlog of me getting myself together and like making myself feel cute again. I installed this wig. With that being said, wig videos will be back a little more often than they were. I was not shooting wig content as much because I was really enjoying wearing my hair. Like I just love the freedom of wearing my hair. But now I don't feel all that confident and like cute with my hair anymore. So until I can figure out what to do with it or like it grows out a little bit or something, I'm probably going to be wearing wigs, braids. I already plan to do braids anyway because I have some trips coming up. So I was going to do braids for those anyway, but I'm basically going to be wearing wigs, braids. I'm going to try some other stuff, quick weaves, maybe some ponytails. I don't know. I just cannot feel like that no more. Like I cannot feel like ugly. Like, no, like I can't feel like that. So yes. Wig content will be back a little bit more often. I've only done three curls. I'm just steady talking. I've been recording for 20 something minutes. Speaking of the content that'll be coming back and like content that I have coming up, I'm gonna tell y'all about some more content that I have coming up that I know um, some of y'all like to see because that's among one of my better performing types of videos is travel vlogs. Like I only have like three travel vlogs on my channel, but they perform pretty well based off of any other vlog I've ever done. That seems like something y'all like, as well as the Amazon wigs, which I will be doing some more of those cheap Amazon wigs, or even just some more expensive Amazon wigs, like the human hair wigs. Now the cheap Amazon wigs be more synthetic wigs. But I'm gonna do some more Amazon wigs that are human hair wigs. Um, I'm gonna do some black owned brands. So anyway, that is something else that will be coming up a lot this year, actually, a little more often than normal because i don't travel like super often um which is why i only have three travel vlogs on my channel one of them is the new york vlog that i did like four years ago the other one is the hawaii vlog that i posted maybe last year or two years ago and then the third one is the jamaica vlog from last year so yeah i wanted to travel more for 2024 like that was one of the things i wanted to do but i wasn't sure of how possible that was because like you know traveling costs money also you know having people to go with that's also a little bit difficult for me because everybody's schedules are different or people have to work or you know they're focused on other things as as finances like a trip isn't really in their cars right now whatever the case may be so like traveling isn't always something that i can do or like get travel content i have thought about doing solo trips lately but i'm gonna start small just because i don't want to i don't want to have to wait around all the time like i know it's, it's safer to travel in numbers but you know some stuff some destinations i feel like i can go to by myself and i don't want to like you know waste my life away waiting on other people or like not getting to do the things that i want waiting on someone else to do it with me or go with me or whatever so yeah at first the only trip i had planned was jamaica i actually planned this trip two years ago and then last year I ended up going to jamaica but that trip came up like kind of unexpectedly if i had known that i was going to jamaica last year i wouldn't have booked the trip two years ago to go to jamaica and i would have picked somewhere else to go but i had already booked the trip like i already booked the rooms and stuff and started paying on that yeah so i was just like well i guess i'm going to jamaica twice you know that's cool so that was the only trip i had planned for 2024 which jamaica was going to be the trip for my 25th birthday well my first time going to jamaica was supposed to be that but my first time going to jamaica ended up being last year yeah but now i'm going again i'm still going for my 25th birthday i had other trips that i wanted to do but it was just a little bit difficult with the people like I'm not the type of person to just travel with anybody. Like, I know people be like, oh, well, you can just, why don't you go with this person? 
or why don't you do this or i know my cousin had asked me she was like why don't you um like do them little things like getting those chats where some influencer girls get together and like go on a trip no ma'am no ma'am you will not see me doing that i'm sorry like i'm not going out of no country i'm not going out of the state barely the city with people i don't know like i barely know like i don't know anything about you it's too much crazy stuff has happened with girls especially going off on these trips you got people that are jealous you got people that don't understand girl code and sticking together and not doing this not leaving this girl by herself going to the bathroom by herself stuff ends up happening to people overseas or something traumatic could happen or they don't even come back home you will not see me doing that no man mm -mm. i'm not joining no type of group chats with a bunch of random girls just because they're influencers to go on a trip uh-uh, no. I know like my boyfriend is like another person that I'll travel with, but he can always travel. He only gets so much vacation time at work. And then like he also has other stuff that he's trying to work on financially. You know, of course, I'm not gonna step on nobody's toes like to try and go on a trip with me. Like I'm not gonna do that. Like if you got other stuff going on in life, that's cool. Like the only thing I can do is ask you. So yeah, also my sister, but she also works. So that's like another thing. Like I just can't always be traveling like that. So like the only trip I had planned for 2024, was Jamaica. But my dad's side of the family, we used to do this thing where they would go on trips every other year. Like my whole dad's side, like the whole family, like all my cousins, aunties, my granny, my papa, like everybody would go. We go out of town, get like a hotel, like do activities. And we hadn't, they stopped doing it. I don't know what year that was, but they're starting it back this year. So they have been planning that since 2023, I believe. And that trip is coming up in June and we're going to Destin. Florida so that'll be some travel content that's coming up as well I'll be vlogging that and that's gonna be really interesting my dad's side is like the more hype um loud lit type of crew y'all know everybody got that one side of the family that's like that that's my dad's side so yeah it's gonna be interesting it, it's like a really big mansion that we're staying in the room situation is kind of crazy so that's definitely gonna be an experience but yeah so we got that coming up in June and then Christmas. My mom, one of her gifts to my sister and me for Christmas was a trip. And like she did it like a puzzle. Like we had to put the puzzle together. I'll insert like the picture of it. It took us forever to get it together. But anyway, that was the gift that she got us for Christmas or one of the gifts that she got us for Christmas. And it was a trip to Turks and Caicos. And that trip is in September 2024. So that's trip number three. So it's like all this stuff is kind of happening. Like I want to travel more. I had already kind of made up in my mind that like I'm not going to be able to because like I said, the people that I would normally travel with isn't always able to go. And now I got more trips coming up that, you know, just kind of started happening. So I'm really happy about that. I'm really excited for that. I really like traveling is like something that I just, that's like love language for me. Like I just love traveling and like seeing different stuff and other cultures and being on the beach and like just chilling and like, I just, I just love it. Then my cousin texted me actually like a week and a half or two weeks ago. And she was like, hey, but she was also understanding of the fact that I had other trips coming up to pay for. My Jamaica trip is already paid for. My Destin trip is already paid for. I don't know what all my mom has handled for the Turks and Caicos trip. Yeah, but she was understanding of the fact that I had like other trips coming up, but she was like, hey, you wanna go to Aruba with me the end of July? So y'all know my Jamaica trip is in like mid-July for my birthday. And she was like, oh, you wanna go to Aruba with me the end of July? And I was like, out of the country twice in my birthday month? Yeah. Let's do it. So yeah, I'll be going to Aruba at the end of July. Of course, I'm not gonna give like specific dates, you know, for safety reasons, but I will include all that information in those vlogs and I will give y'all the places that we stayed at. I will link all of that. I will tell y'all the airlines we flew with, which is probably Delta. I normally always fly Delta. Yeah, I'm gonna give all the details after I leave. You know, I'll be, I'll be playing that, um, you know, giving out all this information before I leave and like people know my moves and like where I'm gonna be at at what time and what day uh-uh I don't do that so I will give all the details it'll just be after I've left those places and like the vlog goes up yeah I'm really excited about that because that's also something I've been wanting to do on my channel like I want to travel like I want to do more travel vlogs like I just love traveling and i just want that to be like a segment on my channel i love editing travel content like i love improving my editing skills like making it more cinematic i got a drone for hawaii well it wasn't for hawaii but i used it in that vlog you know just kind of up the the editing skills and like the quality of the vlogs like i just want like my quality to be like top tier um i still like obviously not the best to like editing but like, you know i'm trying to learn different things and like incorporate it into my videos and like just make it look real cute yeah so i'm really excited about that i'm really glad like all that just started kind of happening like all this stuff just kind of 
started falling into place. Like I didn't really plan on nothing else but Jamaica. That's what I had said beginning of the year. Like that's what was one of my resolutions, which I don't believe in like speaking on resolutions or like making vision boards and like showing people your vision boards. Like I feel like all this stuff should be private. Now that it's happening, like I'm speaking on it, I can talk about it now. Cause like I'm, I'm doing it or like it's already happening. That's one of the things that was on my vision board for 2024 was like, I just really want to travel more and do travel content. I already got four videos coming up this year for travel and I kind of want to do one more like a winter type of travel vlog like a cabin trip or like a ski trip or something like that I don't know how possible that's gonna be it might not be like 2024 it might be January 2025 because y'all know the snow be heavy in January and like the mountains and stuff hopefully I can figure something out with that because I would love to do that do like a winter trip because all my other trips are like tropical beach type of vacations so I'll do something a little different like I've been to the cabins before the year I graduated college it's 2021 and I, I have vlogged some of it but we didn't really do that much so i didn't even like post it because we didn't like do nothing for real we didn't even leave the cabin until the day that we left and we did like some activities and that was crazy driving in the mountains is crazy for real that's a that's another experience driving in the mountains and the bears the first night we got there there was a bear and like it just so happened like we had just finished getting all of our stuff out of the car we hadn't seen any at all like not even driving up or nothing like no, none like we had already been warned about them but we didn't see any, and like we had just finished getting all of our stuff out of the car, like unloaded. It took us like 10 minutes to get everything like unloaded and like get us settled in and like, you know, get checked in because it was an Airbnb. But yeah, literally I'm talking about as soon as we got inside and like um, had closed all the doors, locked the doors and had like um, looked at all the rooms and stuff. I kept hearing a noise outside. My boyfriend was like, oh, that's just the air conditioning. And I was like, that's not no air conditioning. So I looked out the window and there was a bear staring right back at me. And I was so terrified. So yeah, I've been to like the cabins of like the mountains before. But I want to go again. I want to go like in the snow and like ski and like do snow activities and stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. That's some more upcoming content is travel content. So I hope y'all will enjoy that or looking forward to that. And yeah. Also, another thing I've been doing in the months that I've been gone, I record for my church. So they know that I do YouTube and my pastor knows that I do YouTube and he asked me if I would do social media for the church. Yeah, so I've been doing that since like the end of February, I think. So if you're a Christian girly or boy, you know, you need a good word, go on over there. I'll link the channel right there. Yeah, I run that page. So I go to church and film the service and like upload it and all of that to YouTube every Sunday. Y'all can, um check that out um so speaking of church and all of that that's another thing that i wanted to touch on my spiritual journey so that was another thing like i said i'll go ahead and speak on this like i said i don't think like vision boards and stuff like you should just tell everybody what's on your vision board but since this is already like another thing like i said about the travel stuff this has already happened or is happening i'll speak on it so that was another thing that was on my vision board is I wanted to get closer to God. Like I really wanted to like have a relationship with him on my own. Like, you know, like not just going to church or like, I wanna know when he's talking to me. I wanna know, you know, the Bible, read my Bible on my own. Like I wanted to get to that point of reading my Bible on my own, like incorporating that into my routine Um, because I wasn't doing that before. And part of that being, for one, I've never been the type that I just like to read. Like I, I I don't like to read. Um, I never have. I never found reading entertaining. But last year, my boyfriend had bought me a book and we had started reading together. And I was like, okay, this might be all right. But I wanted to get into reading my Bible. And another reason I didn't read the Bible is because I did like, it was just hard for me to understand. And like, I was at a point where I felt like almost embarrassed, I guess, or like that I don't understand it or like I wasn't comprehending it as well as some people do. But then I realized like, I feel like this is completely normal. Like a lot of people don't understand it because like, you know, the way that they talk back then and like whatever, it was just like completely different. And I, I feel like a lot of people don't understand it. Like it's kind of confusing sometimes or like it takes a lot to read it so that you could understand it. I wanted to get to that point and that was one of the things that I had on my vision board for 2024. I just wanted to incorporate that into my life. Like I felt like a lot of the things that I was dealing with mentally or things that I was dealing with in my life or career-wise, relationships, like friendships, family relationships, romantic relationship. Like I just felt like I was trying to figure out what was wrong or like what was missing in those things. And I feel like that's what was missing. Like I feel like the reason that I'm not where I want to be in those things or these relationships aren't where I want them to be or I'm not the type of person that I want to be for those relationships or I'm not where I want to be career wise or whatever or I'm not where I want to be as even just life like where I want to be in life or like 
me as a person i feel like that's what was missing like and i knew that a while back like you know you can't do anything without god i feel like that's what was missing i really needed to like pull it in i don't dedicate the time that i should to going to church reading my bible praying all of that me um recording for church like having to go to church to record kind of jump started that for me but which it was something that I've been wanting to do or like get more into doing and like get in the habit of doing that without like forcing it. Like I don't want to force it like I'm making myself do this or like, like I know like it has to be at a point where it's like, okay, like you're gonna have to get up and go. But like, I want it to be natural. Like I want to do this, or, like I want to go on my own. And me recording for church kind of jump started that because I had to be there every Sunday to do it. And now I'm at a point where it's like, if I, even if I wasn't recording for church, I'm at the point now where it's like i want to go even if i wasn't recording i'm still gonna be there at at my church or at somebody's church every sunday if i can help it you know and i also started going to bible class we have bible class i've gone to bible class i think twice i'm coming up for my third time of going to bible class that's something that i've also been doing and i've also really been enjoying because that also helps me like better understand certain parts of the bible um learn the importance of prayer or you know all of that so i feel like that that's something that i've also really been enjoying like on my own like all this stuff is coming naturally to me now and that's what i wanted this year like i wanted this to be like a part of me to do this on my own setting out time to do this because i want to do this like you know and yeah, that's another thing that I've been doing and working on is my spiritual journey. So yeah, like I said, I just wanted my relationship with God to be better. I want it to be just a better, and I feel like all of that, like if I started there, I feel like everything else will fall into place. And I feel like it has been, and it, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what clicked one day that just like, I just started craving that. So I'm really happy about that. That's just something that also has been coming to fruition in 2024. I've stopped worrying a lot. That was another thing. I've stopped worrying about a lot of things that I used to worry about, which, you know, I'm not going to get into details about everything just because, you know, some stuff, you know, I ain't got to, you, I ain't got to tell everything. It's just some things that I was dealing with in my life and mentally and just different things that like I would just worry about and stress about. And when I got to this point of like where I am now, praying more and having faith and all that, I do not worry. Before I'd be like, oh, I just need to stop worrying. Like I just need to trust God and stop worrying and like, if that's easy to say like i would never actually stop worrying like i would like still be stressing out like stressing out about certain things and and it's like i said now at right the point like i do not be worrying no more like for real i don't be tripping about much which i never was that type of person anyway i really don't be tripping about nothing i really be chill and like the most part but i do have things that like bother me or like things that upset me or things that would stress me out more than they probably should have. And now I'm at the point where I just don't, I don't feel that anymore. Like I just don't, you know, like, it's just like, if it's God's will, it'll be. And like, that's just how I look at things now. Like I don't too much stress nothing no more. I don't know, I feel like I'm rambling now, but all in all, I've definitely been working on that part of my life, my spiritual journey. And I feel like I kind of want to bring y'all along with that. And like, when I'm vlogging and like bring y'all to church with me and like, you know, bring y'all to Bible class with me and like sharing what I learned or what we talked about in Bible class because maybe that'll help somebody else that is you know also working on their spiritual journey I used to it used to not be something that I would talk about just because I feel like religion is just a really touchy subject for some people and yeah and I want to say this too if you're not a Christian or you don't believe or you're atheist or whatever that's great and all if you want to do that whatever your opinion is but Keep it to yourself because, you know, I don't care. <clears throat> I don't. I'm, I'm not here for all of that if you just... Whatever your opinion is on religion, that can be your opinion. Just don't try and push that off on nobody else because I'm not... I'm not the type to push my religion off on nobody else. Like, I'm not going to make nobody believe or I'm not going to make nobody be a Christian or, like, you know, whatever it is. Like, I'm not pushing my beliefs off on nobody else. So don't come over here doing that with whatever you believe. So, yeah, if that's something that... Y'all would like to see, let me know if y'all want me to bring y'all along like my spiritual journey or like Bible class. Yeah, let me know or stick around because I'll be doing it anyway. Mentally, um, I feel like also, and I feel like this is all about part of that. So like kind of tying into that, I want to talk about where I am mentally. I feel like where I am mentally now is the best I've been mentally in a long time, in years. And I feel like all of that is because of where i am spiritually and i feel like where i am mentally is like the best i've been 
in some years and I have been in some tore up dark places that I don't speak on and I'm not going to go into detail about but some of the closest people don't know a lot of things about what I've dealt with mentally and like I said I just feel like I'm at the point now where I just feel like you know things are looking up and that's why I've been able to show up the way I have for certain things like I've had the more energy the energy to do certain things more than I would have before and I'm really happy about that I am just thankful whatever clicked the day that it did click because I was just so tired I think that's all the updating I have yeah y'all that is where I'm at in life that is where I've been that is my update upcoming content so yeah, if you made it to this point in the video, y'all let me know how y'all have been doing because I haven't talked to y'all. I know I have some silent watchers, but you know, if you're a silent watcher, you know, kind of try and step out a little bit, say hi or something. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all have been up to, where y'all are at mentally or things that you may have been dealing with that you want to share that may help somebody else in the comments or whatever. Yeah, I want to know how y'all have been. What's tea? What's been going on? I know I got a couple faithful watchers that normally always comment, so I'm definitely looking forward to hearing from y'all. Yeah, so I've been running my mouth and I'm still not done. So I'm going to finish this off camera and then I'll come back when I'm done and I'll close out the video, but that is my update. Yeah. All right, y'all, I am done curling the hair. So I actually wanted to add some little edges right here. I was going to leave it with no edges, but I kind of want some right here so actually let me hot comb it i don't want to hot comb it because it's so close to my skin i want to burn myself this is why i don't do them all right that's enough that's enough i'm just gonna do some small ones like i want them even shorter than that like i don't want no crazy edges So I'm just using the got to be in the black bottle and then I'll go over it with some mousse. I'm only putting the got to be like right at the root. Just put a little bit of mousse. I guess I'll do a little sideburn too. Cute. I think it's cute. So I'm gonna do my makeup and then close out the video. So I'll be back. All right, y'all, my makeup is done. So now I'm about to just fluff this out a little bit. Yeah, just add my little finishing touches. Just gonna hot comb up here some. Ooh, this is turning out too cute, y'all. I love when I actually execute 
the style I was going for. Like sometimes I do hairstyles and I'd be like, oh, close enough. But this is like cute, like exactly how I wanted it. What do we think? What do we think? So yeah, y'all, that is the finished look. That is my life update. Hopefully some of y'all stuck around while I was gone. If you did, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. I'm back being consistent. We're gonna speak it now. And yeah, give y'all some good quality content. The wig videos will definitely be back. I wanna do maybe some makeup videos because I do wanna try out some more makeup. Clothing hauls as well. Y'all know I used to do those here and there. Maybe some styling outfits videos, travel vlogs. We're back, girl. We're back. I just got to get back in my group. That's all. I had to get back in my group, figure out what's working for me now. Like I said, I do film for my church on Sundays and my posting days for my YouTube channel is also on Sundays. So I just have to figure out how to make all that work. My Instagram posts I also do on Sundays and Thursdays as well as TikTok. TikTok sometimes is on Thursdays or sometimes it's on a Sunday. It just depends. My posting days for like majority of my platforms are on Sundays and I also have to film for my church and upload that video on a sunday as well and on the same day so i'm figuring it out yeah y'all i'm back i miss y'all i hope y'all stick around whether you're new or you've been subscribed i hope y'all enjoyed the video i hope y'all like the hairstyle i think it turned out really cute again this wig is from lavish bundle connect this is a 24 inch deep wave lace frontal wig 13 by 4. it's really cute like i love this wig it's a really good quality wig the lace is good on it this wig was also pre-bleached the knots were pre-bleached and it was pre-plucked but i did pluck it a little bit more because y'all know i always do it anyway i just like to pluck my wigs how i want them but yeah and it's big head friendly y'all know i'll be struggling trying to get wigs fit on my head but this one no struggle at all and it has the little adjustable strap in the back it turned out so cute anyway y'all i'm rambling i've done enough talking i'll probably sick of me at this point that is it for this video hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe stick around for the upcoming content so yeah and i will see y'all in the next video bye